Have you been struggling to learn Java and wondering why it's so much harder than you expected it to be? In this video, we're going to talk about a few things that can make Java really difficult to learn. My name is John. I'm a lead Java software engineer, and I love sharing what I've learned in a clear and understandable way, even if it is really hard. So if you'd like to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss each new video. I also have a full Java course available in a link down in the description if you're interested. The first thing about Java that can make it so hard for a beginner is just the huge amount of basic code you have to put in to run anything at all. So you've probably written a Hello World program in Java, right? That's everybody's first program. If you're coming from another language like Python. All it takes in Python to do hello world is just print hello world. Poof, that's it. Now that program is easy for a beginner to understand. But if you're trying to teach hello world in Java to a beginner, first you need public class hello world. Uh, excuse me, I just want to print something. I don't think I need all of this extra junk. Yes, you do. You need it. Don't ask why. Just do it. Okay, okay, all right. Now can I put in my print statement? No, no, no. There's more you still need. Uh, okay. Next you need public static void main, and then in parentheses, you need string, open and close bracket, args. But what, why do I need all of that? What does it even mean? You, you just do, you just need it. Don't ask why. Don't ask what it means right now. It'll be too confusing. Uh, okay. Now at least can I put my print statement? Yes, now you can put in your print statement. Okay, so I just do print. No, 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 no. You can't just do print. It's system.out.println, and then you can put in hello world. Ah, oh, man, finally. That, and don't forget the semicolon. I think I'll just stick to Python. It's kind of like you're trying to teach this beginner to make a peanut butter sandwich. But then you say, well, first you have to build an entire kitchen with all the cabinetry, the pantry, you have to do all the plumbing, put it in the countertops. Then finally, you can get out the bread and the peanut butter and a knife and actually make your sandwich. The second thing is just the overwhelming amount of things to learn. When you first start learning, you think, okay, variables, all right, int, long, string, okay, got it. If this, then that, else, if this, then that, okay. And then you keep learning about more and more things that exist that you're eventually going to have to learn. Inheritance, polymorphism, collections like lists, array lists, hash maps, tree maps, linked lists, vectors, classes, objects, generics, lambdas, static and non-static, jar files, the JVM, the JRE, and the JDK. And all of that is just scratching the surface. Look, there is a lot to learn about Java. Don't try to learn everything at once. And just watching a bunch of YouTube videos about it won't help you if you never actually code anything. <clears throat> but obviously you should still watch all of mine. Figure out something that you want to make. Just get started coding. Watch a few videos if you run into something you can't figure out along the way. Then get right back to coding. Take it step by step and accept that there will be a lot that you don't know. Just take your time you'll get to it. The third thing that makes Java so difficult is just all the object-oriented stuff. When you first start learning Java, you start with your basic programs like Hello World, or maybe something simple like a GPA calculator, which actually was my very first YouTube video, so click here if you'd like to suffer through that. But all those programs, they were all in one class, all in one file, and probably mostly just inside that main method. They were very simple, life was good, Java made sense. Then you start learning about this object-oriented stuff. Classes, objects, inheritance, encapsulation, abstraction, polymorphism, static and non-static. When I was taking my college course, all of this static versus non-static stuff was just something I just couldn't wrap my mind around. Static method can only be called from a static context? What even is a static context? Object-oriented programming is a whole different way to think about your programs than your basic procedural programming. But like a lot of other things, it just took a lot of time and practice till it all started sinking in. The fourth thing that makes Java so hard is it's not just Java. Programming is hard. Programming is a unique kind of skill that most people never have to develop or use. But programming is hard. People dedicate their entire lives and careers to programming. You won't take a week or a month long course or watch a bunch of YouTube videos and then wake up the next day with a six figure programming job. Learning to program takes patience and honestly just the ability to sit in front of a computer and work on a single problem for hours and hours or days at a time. If you run into a programming problem and find yourself hammering away at it till two, three in the morning, trying different things and Googling like crazy forever with a thousand browser tabs open until you finally figure it out. If you find yourself doing that, I think you've got what it takes. Just keep at it. But one thing that can make Java a whole lot easier, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss each new Java video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.